Hey, welcome to the first episode of Let's Grab a Beer. All right, uh, this is a YouTube channel that's going to be about one of the great things that we have been blessed with: beer, good beer. Not so much that beer from you know, like the big producers like Anheuser, uh, Coors, Miller. It's going to be more of a locally grown kind of a thing, micro brews. Um, Stuff that you wouldn't find, say, at every store, you know, like Warsteiner, Pilsner, Urkel, um, things of that nature. So, getting that out of the way, um, I'm going to warn you that there's going to be some pretty crude humor that I really enjoy, some offensive language, possibly. Actually, there will be more than likely. So, if you do not have a a dirty sense of humor then I suggest you don't watch it because if you get offended I warned you so it's your own goddamn fault that you're a pussy and you get your feelings hurt okay now with that out of the way um, also you know drinking beer is meant to be fun I'm trying to make this fun kind of lighthearted you know depending on how drunk I get you know and so with that being said I want this to be a good time. I want it to be fun. Drinking beer is supposed to be fun. But what's not fun is when you got to watch your asshole in jail because you do something stupid like drive home drunk and, you know, bad things happen when you do that. So drink responsibly. All right. All right. So now the first beer that we're trying to is going to be called is called Honey Pilsner. All right, it's from a company, I believe they started up in South Carolina and relocated down here to uh, Lakeland, Florida, which is just about halfway between here and Tampa, a nice little town. Um, I've had this stuff before, it's really good. I really enjoyed it the first time I ever had it and then I could just never find it anywhere but this one restaurant at Disney. And lo and behold, now this Publix right around the corner started carrying it, all right. On the back of the can says brewed with real orange blossom honey. All right, there are 2.3 teaspoons of pure orange blossom honey in every can of OBP, but don't go thinking you're getting a mouthful of sweetness. Sweetness. The fermentation process gives it a crisp, refreshing flavor, sans candy acery. So crack open a cold one, and the bees need the work. You know, the bees are even having a hard time these days. Can't find a job. A man trying to keep them down. A nice or nice uh, straw coloring, uh, kind of yellow. Actually, it looks a little bit like honey. Nice taste, very little head, even though I poured it kind of fast. Oh man, it's really good. It's sweet, a little bitter, but not too bitter. This is uh, definitely one of those ones you could drink after a hot ass day, like especially if you're in any kind of manual labor, working outside, shoveling asphalt, digging ditches, working on cars. You come home and the wife and kids are nagging at you, dogs barking, the cats are rubbing up against you because they want to be pet. Yeah. Talking about you little bastards. Look at them. Just freaking laying there, not doing shit. Freaking cats, I tell you. Good stuff. <sighs> nice. Yeah, as I've grown older I've gone from really drinking to get drunk and you know have a good time and all that shit to you know just enjoying beer it's like Benjamin Franklin said beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy so well that's it for today guys um, future episodes the videos are going to become longer. I'm going to try to be more, um, I guess, educational with it once I get a new computer and a video camera and get some more people on board with this. 
we're going to turn it into a bigger and uh, better production. All right. So remember, be responsible with your drinking. Ziggy, zoggy, ziggy, zoggy, oi, oi, oi.